Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex Day Trade Setups for today, the 15th of February. So, uh, day to day yesterday, and look at this massive rejection pin bar off the flag. So, it did shoot through the logical resistance areas of the flag, and I'm just going to extend this up. And give me one sec, let's do that. So, um, logical area of the flag was pretty much in this zone that we're testing at the moment, and it shot past there like a bullet. Um, typical of a day-to-day, -day, so there you can see the data, massive range bar uh, before coming back to the zone that we were testing, and you can see that lines up pretty, pretty perfectly on the flag, and then rejects it. So, for me at the moment, this is still our, our line on the sand, it's 107378, we're still looking to short this. Uh, this is a flag rejection or flag break and rejection as far as I'm concerned. So you're looking, um, well, this little rejection bar here is probably the first one. It's on the 155, not on the level. So uh, what you'd probably be wise to do is get your levels in. There's your next swing low. Uh, pay attention to this area here, 107298. You're looking for a rejection there. Uh, your target is still the zone that we identified yesterday, and that's between 106.703 and uh, 106.430. Stop at the moment, it's above the high of today, so you just uh, wait for the pullback, and if you've got time, probably worthwhile just getting onto the 15 minutes and waiting for that structure on the 15 minutes. You can see we've only just got the crossover of the moving averages. A retest of this level does test the 155. You may break. That's kind of what you're looking for. Don't want to be jumping in right now. Look at that. Uh, that would be foolish. So wait for the pullback. Wait for the rejection down. If we get above the high of today, uh, all bets are off. Then you're looking for pullback to get support on 10378. Um, we do have a little bit more data coming out today. So if it's as volatile as what it was yesterday, uh, hold on to your hats. Uh, moving on to US dollar, Japanese yen. Similar kind of setup, we did come back and find some support. You can see there it is there. Uh, we've got a crossover of the moving averages now. We're getting up above the 155 EMA. I am just concerned about the oscillators grouping like that. So uh, that on the eighth hour doesn't look very healthy. But if we come back down to the hour, you can see we tried to close the gap here. Um, in actual fact, hindsight's always perfect, you know, miss some of these things so typically from a gap perspective you always come back and test the inside tail above the gap that's exactly what happened yesterday um, then normally there would be a second move it would sort of come back bounce off here and then come down and close the gap so that didn't materialize so that's sort of uh, the early ambushes waiting for the people looking to get the gap so they hop in a bit early hoping to get the um, Get price moving and get the stop loss triggered and that's exactly what happened with uh, the data yesterday so for me same kind of setup uh, i'm just going to leave that gap there because it is still viable and then that is our pullback area so we're looking for a pullback onto one three two seven eight four uh, looking at the oscillators they've uh, separated and starting to cross uh, this could just be one-way traffic for a measured move higher, and that is going to be something like that. Uh, so we're looking at 134.285. Massive moves, uh, lots of volatility. Again, don't try and jump into this thing for the sake of jumping in. Wait for pullbacks on the 15, wait for structure on the 15, and each one of these tails here would also be an area of interest on from the 15 minutes perspective. So that's kind of what I'd be waiting for. I'd be waiting for some kind of a pullback onto structure uh, before looking for an opportunity to buy into this. And uh, that uh, doesn't bode well for the indexes right now. Uh, moving on to British pound, Japanese yen, and our play for yesterday has played out. Well, it's still playing out, sorry. Um, so there are two targets here. So here's the first one. As I said yesterday, there's our first target to the upside. Uh, you need to be very cognizant of the fact that you are top of what looks like a massive uh, inverse head and shoulders. And uh, you can see we've got a double left shoulder, a head, 
and uh, almost like a triple right shoulder, but that's just one shoulder there. Or you could call it one sh left shoulder, double head, one right shoulder. Nevertheless, it's a rounding bottom from a move down, rounding bottom, um, and you are at the neckline. Yeah, you've got this little bit of, you know, this little flags target, which is on the hour, and then I want to give you another one, but I think it's going to be the same. Yeah, that's going to be the same. So that gives you the same. So let's just get rid of that. And if we come down to the hour, have a look at that classic flag, as I pointed out yesterday. You were looking for a break. Uh, you got a rejection first, and then you got the break. And if you look at this on the 15 minute, you would have seen a bit of a better structure here. You see, there's your rejection. Um, crossover happening we are above the 155 so the bias is to the upside so you could have basically taken uh, the first close above that structure there which would have been this bar here so as soon as that bar finished jump in you've got a 580 point stop loss it's quite big but look at that two to one trade all the way up and you're still not finished because the measured move is higher the measured move is up here at 163 419 sorry so you're looking for pullback on structure and uh I just have to get a level in here so that looks like a fairly decent level we've popped past it this morning so watch that one six one four five three you're looking for a pullback there's another little trend line break here as well or alternatively you're looking for a break and a retest of one six one eight oh three and then you're looking for one six three four one nine so you're definitely looking to be long on this pair and uh, just wait for a little bit of better structure. Uh, just one last thing here. That's a daily high. So that could also be uh, sort of impact you at the moment. So a pullback to 161190 would also pan out. Okay. Oscillator is lining up on the hour quite nicely. So wait for the setup on the 15 and you've probably got a very decent trade there. Uh, lastly, Euro, British Pound, still nothing happening here. Uh, you know, we're just hovering in the space. So we did, uh, did pop below it and now we sort of look like we're rejecting it. But look at the oscillators, a little bit concerning in amongst the moving averages. Nothing concrete on the um, eight hour. But as I said yesterday, yeah, you're looking for opportunities to short. You didn't get much of an opportunity because that would have been the most logical area there. You got a pin bar that's just short of it. I know some people would have taken that. Uh, and to be quite honest, uh, for 140 points or so, I think I would have taken it as well. But I wasn't watching this pair. Uh, what you do have is you've got a flag brewing here. So bring this level down. There's your next logical level. You're looking for a rejection off here. There's already an inside bar, so it could be an area to play out. Look at your oscillators here on the hour. So that's pretty much what I'd be waiting for. If you just pop down to the 15 for your entry, you'll see uh, in amongst moving averages, a little bit concerning, but um, nevertheless, I think this is the first area. If uh, that doesn't materialize today, then you're looking for a pullback onto 088.224. So look for a break here, pull back onto this area, and then you're looking to be short again. Uh, just be wary of the fact that we are forming a little bit of a triangle here. I'll get it in for you now. There's our trend line on the top, and there's our trend line on the bottom. So uh, just looking at what's happening on British pound, Japanese yen, I would anticipate a move to the downside here. And on the hour, oscillators just eased up quite nicely. So um, yeah, I think that's a fairly decent opportunity here. Uh, the only thing that is going to sort of uh, change the tune is a break above the high of yesterday. So for me at the moment, this is in this zone is a classic area here for a entry. And I think these tails here is also something you need to pay attention to because we were below it yesterday and we stayed below it. And now we've popped up above it in after hours trading. So I don't think that's going to last much longer. That's uh, probably well worth an opportunity here. Uh, even up to that tail of yesterday, now that gives you a fairly decent trade. But I'd wait for a break of the triangle to the downside, I think. Just wait for a break and retest of this level, uh, 088224. Um, don't 
take this level because that is a break the triangle to the upside. So wait for this break down, pull back, test that or test a low here uh, for a move down or even better, just wait for London breakout strategy. And at the moment, that looks like that is the range. So 50 minute break below here, stop above there and you're looking for a continuation to the downside. And I'll actually look for the height of the triangle to start with. But then the second thing that you could possibly do, uh, that's a perfect target. Look at that, lined up perfectly. That's what you'd be waiting for. So that target there is 087859. Anyway, that's kind of my view. Just keep your stops tight because on the eight hour, you can see it's getting a little bit tired. So just keep your stops really tight and uh, pay attention to your entry. You want your entry as close to your stop loss as possible so you've got minimal risk anyway that's it for me today i hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning the chance for now